In this video, you will learn. Should I switch from smoking to using e-cigarettes? Will e-cigarettes or vape liquid aggravate my diabetes type 2? Your questions are answers. Should I switch from smoking to using e-cigarettes? Vaping, or electronic cigarettes, have been around for years now. There is no doubt that the use of e-cigarettes is growing. Many people who used to smoke cigarettes have switched to using e-cigarettes as an alternative to tobacco smoking. In fact, the number of people who smoke cigarettes globally has dropped by about 35% over the past few years. Will my health benefit by switching? There is no doubt that e-cigarettes are healthier than traditional cigarettes. They contain no tar, no carbon monoxide, and no other harmful chemicals. They do not contain any nicotine either. The only thing they contain is propylene glycol and vegetable glycerin. These are both food-grade substances and they are perfectly safe. If you are wondering if you should switch from smoking cigarettes to using an e-cigarette, then you should definitely consider doing so. What are propylene glycol and vegetable glycerin? First, let us look at what these two substances that are in an e-cigarette, also known as vape liquid. Propylene glycol is a thick liquid that is used in foods such as jello and pancake syrup. It is also used as a solvent for many other things. It is also used as an ingredient in many antifreeze products. Vegetable glycerin is a natural substance that is found in many fruits and vegetables. It is also used in making cosmetics and toothpaste. Will e-cigarettes or vape liquid aggravate my diabetes type 2? Now that we know what these two ingredients are, let's take a look at how they affect people with diabetes. First of all, Propylene glycol is an osmotic diuretic. This means that it will cause your body to lose water. This can be dangerous for people who already have low blood pressure. Also, it is believed that propylene glycol may be toxic to the kidneys. Vegetable glycerin is also an osmotic diuretic. However, it is believed to be less toxic to the kidneys than propylene glycol. So far, there have been no reports of any deaths from government-approved e-cigarettes. There have been some reports of people having kidney stones, but this has never been reported as a direct result of using e-cigarettes. Can e-cigarettes aggravate diabetes type 2? Also, there is no evidence that e-cigarettes liquids are unhealthy for people with diabetes. Propylene glycol does not contain sugar or sweeteners, therefore, does not affect glucose and electrolytes in the body. Vegetable glycerin is a sugar alcohol that occurs naturally in fermented foods and beverages, including beer, honey, vinegar, wine, and wine vinegar. Vegetable glycerin does not affect glucose and electrolytes in the body. However, the e-cigarettes liquids do contain flavoring that can contain natural sugars or artificial sweeteners. Although this flavoring can be up to 7% of the e-cigarettes liquid mass it is very low in sugar. If you vape 12 milliliters per day you will have taken the equivalent to a 0.02 to 0.03 teaspoon of sweetener per day. If we compare this to a medium apple, that is a recommended fruit to include in your diet if you have diabetes, it has 20 grams of natural sugar and 27 grams of carbohydrate which is the equivalent to 3 teaspoons of sugar. This is a far greater amount of sugar when compared to an e-cigarette or vaping liquid. So, if you want to improve your health and are wondering whether you should switch from smoking to using an e-cigarette then you should definitely consider doing it.
If you have enjoyed this video then please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to this YouTube channel. If you are watching on Facebook and you like what we're doing then share this video with your family and friends, and as always, thank you for watching.